Even if you are way too cool to listen to the top 10 artists on Spotify, they still get most of your money. Huh? How big of a song do you have to have to make like reasonable royalties off of streaming? You have to be Drake. D I Y. D I Ys. This week, Spotify released some new news about their potential plans for a few different categories when it comes to payouts for artists of all kind that use their particular platform. One of which affects certain type of artists who will have to meet a new threshold before they're going to get paid. Spotify will reportedly change how artists are paid starting in 2024, a new threshold of minimum annual streams, so yearly, that a track must reach before it generates royalties. Penalties for labels when fraudulent activity is detected. We're gonna talk about that one. Minimum play length on non-music noise tracks, such as white noise, before they generate royalties. Spotify is reportedly making major changes to its royalty model. Artists will have to hit a minimum number of streams before they get paid anything. It says big changes are coming to Spotify's royalty model. If and when they are implemented in early 2024, it will raise the bar for who gets paid from music streaming on the platform and direct more money to major label and artists. Two of the three proposed changes should be relatively uncontroversial. According to the report, Spotify will find music distributors, ooh, bad music distributors, including labels for fraudulent activity detected on their tracks, stream farmers that we've been enjoying a percentage of money from, thanks advertisers. Streaming fraud is pretty widespread and a crackdown is long overdue. The second change will raise the minimum length of play time for noise tracks, background noise like rain, static, etc. before they start earning royalties. Currently, any track that gets played for more than 30 seconds starts earning royalties and many noise creators have gained the system by breaking the noise up into short, even 31 second short tracks. And you know who one of them was? A band called Volpec. You heard of Volpec? Volpec released Sleepify, the album, last week on Spotify. This album's different than our previous albums. This album's much quieter. In fact, we believe it's the most silent album ever recorded. Our next guest has found a way to game the system with songs like this one. Take a listen. You actually heard that right. In 2014, funk band Wolfpack capitalized on a Spotify loophole, collecting 20 grand in royalties by asking users to stream its completely silent album, Sleepify, on repeat while they slept. Well, why is that a problem? This band gamed the system up and made $20,000 up off of Spotify. Spotify said, hold it, get them. Look at the track listing. Hold on. I know this is not the story, but look at the track listing. These niggas said Z. Z, 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 They have the number of Zs in every single track. They're thinking in 4K for sure, but let's get back to the story. The biggest reported change and the one that is already garnering criticism is a minimum threshold of annual streams for a track before it starts earning royalties. In this scenario, a track would have to earn five cents per month in order to be paid, or as MBW estimated, about 200 streams per year. Many indie tracks don't hit this threshold, and so the pennies those artists would otherwise earn will be diverted to Spotify's stream share pool. You ever heard of that? That may sound like a lot of money, but one source told MBW that when multiplied over the many, many low place tracks on the streamer, it accounts for tens of millions of dollars that would instead get distributed to larger artists who get a bigger share of the pooled money. Now, before I rip this one a new one, if you thought for a second that your payments as a rapper, music producer, independent musician, if you thought that your streams equal the amount of money that you're getting individually, and you never heard about this pie system? Lay your eyes on this real quick. And most people probably think that if they discover some obscure new band and then listen to nothing else for weeks, then that band is gonna get all of the money that they pay to Spotify that month. But unfortunately, that's not how it works. The average listener, if you are listening to sort of 500 or 800 tracks a month, probably only about two bucks of your 10 bucks is going to the music that you listen to. Mm -hmm. The rest is going to music that you don't listen to. Did you hear that? Do not let that pass your attention. They said of the $10 that you are dedicating your time to, probably only two of that goes to the music that you're actually listening to. The majority of the money is going to artists you're not even listening to. Well, how is that possible? 
Instead, the company takes all of the money it earns and puts it into one pie. Then it uses a complex formula to divvy that pie up between the artists with those who get the most streams basically earning the most money. Meaning a band has to share a pie with the Drakes and Taylor Swifts and Ed Sheerans of the world who, you can imagine, eat a lot of pie. How big of a song do you have to have to make like reasonable royalties off of streaming? You have to be Drake. You have to be Drake. Is that the answer? That's the answer. Whoa! Wow. Even if you are way too cool to listen to the top 10 artists on Spotify, they still get most of your money. Huh? And the bands that you do listen to get almost none of it. <laughs> Which is unfair to the musicians, and it's especially unfair to music snobs. Actually, I don't do pop music. I prefer indie bands. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm sorry to tell you, dude. You just paid for Ariana Grande's new fridge. If you've never heard it before, that's what they mean when they say the pool. Music producers, rappers, and singers, are you looking to get some constructive feedback on your newest music? Joining Critique My Beats is super easy. All you gotta do is reserve a pass to critiquemybeats.com. Click on book a slot and choose if you wanna get one beat review, two beat reviews on our live stream every Monday. Best beat and best song of the night is going to win a cash prize. Join us at critiquemybeats.com. My question is, why are we sharing amongst a pool when we know that there's an entire source of income coming from advertisements that pop up all day long from multi-millionaires, multi-millionaire, billionaire companies that you see the ads? Why is it we are sharing a pot? Shouldn't we be more transparent about what those slices and, and percentages look like? And Spotify would not be the first streamer to put a minimum on monetization. In fact, YouTube creators can only start making money through ads once they amass 1,000 subscribers in 4,000 hours watched over the course of a year. See, the difference I see between the YouTube model is that YouTube did not always pay their creators. This system was developed afterwards as a way to split the pie amongst creators who have advertisements that are showcasing on their platform. The system that was created when it came to Spotify payouts and just streaming payouts in general were never negotiated amongst the creatives. The number was presented to us. I wrote a tweet about this, I wanna hear it, here it go. Instead of changing the model, Spotify be like, take this 0 0.003 you never negotiated. Trust me, when I say music don't sell, it don't sell. Just keep on running that traffic to my platform. Also, they say, watch me enjoy the fruits of your hard work, promoting your music via social media to our platform. You, me included, whenever I was sharing Spotify links way back when, we are unofficial employees, can't even say affiliates, who are sharing this platform's website URLs to generate traffic that we see a fraction of. We generate traffic for them. I keep saying that because I need you to understand it. For those who are marketers, you understand this. It's none of your business how much money your traffic generates in ad revenue. It's, it's under the books. Just know we got fees and overhead, man. Just you know, pay attention to that. And then they said, instead of changing that model for everyone, they said, you know, you know what? I changed my mind. I don't even think you deserve to get screwed the way I've been screwing you. Somebody gonna have to tell it I'm gonna tell it. That's y'all friend. Ending this out, it says, right now, streams and revenue are effectively synonymous, but by this time next year, they will mean very different things. One more time, because I know I got to edit this. Or Jay's got to edit it. Right now, streams and revenue are effectively synonymous, but by this time next year, they will mean very different things, wrote music industry analyst Mark Mulligan. In this new system, smaller artists will be othered, their revenue becoming a new black box for the bigger artists to share between themselves. Funny that I found another article from that same website that everybody is citing right now. It says nearly 80% of artists on Spotify have fewer than 50 monthly listeners. Why is that relevant? The move is designed to demonetize a population of tracks that today on average earn less than five cents per month. That's their five cents though. Some back of a napkin economics, industry sources suggest that each play on Spotify in the US in terms of recorded music royalties currently generates somewhere between 0.003 per month. This would suggest that for these tracks to generate 0.05 per month in royalties, they would need to generate 17 plays a month or around 200 plays a year. So based upon their math, they're saying only 17 plays a month. You could do that. But then I think about how when you have a vast catalog, there are parts of that catalog where, because the music is a little dated, it doesn't generate the same amount of plays every month. Also too, 
Who's reporting what my plays are doing? I have an issue with the very platform telling me what I need to reach, being able to have at least the access and the coding to report inaccurately. Not saying they would, of course, why would they, why would they do that? I don't care if you get three plays per month. Even in their system of a pool, you deserve your coins. Don't give me that slave conversation. Too many artists out here are acting like Spotify your daddy. This right here is a reverse royalty calculator, meaning that I can put the amount of money that I want to make and it'll tell me what streams I have to get in order to make that. So if I wanted to make $10, right? Let's just say $10, the price of a digital download, that would require 2,874 streams on Spotify. Would you rather sell a CD to one person for $10 or hope to find 2,874 Spotify subscribers to stream it? How many playlist submissions would that require? I don't care if you believe that CDs will sell whether, whether you do or not. I don't care about that. Piece of merch will sell. And if you're having problems or attracting the people who buy art because it's true art, maybe it's time to question your art. Could it be people are not buying your art because you're just a clone of the artist you like the most? Could it be that you haven't even tried to sell music? It is wild to me the amount of people that come to me and talk like they've already tried, haven't had their first show. All they're doing is looking around them in their limited environment and saying, nobody's in this room breathing. I think oxygen is gone. i never seen nobody dancing around me. People stop dancing. Man, Pokemon cards don't sell because I ain't seen it on my TV in years. This is what you sound like. Man, don't nobody buy FUBU. Shit is early, that shit is 90s. Until you go into a rural town and see that 05 jersey laughing at you like ha ha ha. It shows you how little your world is. Don't tell me about what's not gonna sell. Most cars in the US right now, not that no one's being produced, but most cars, you think everybody got a Tesla fam? Most cars still have a CD player. You just can't see it outside of the restrictions that you're in. So as I talk about this Spotify thing, I think this is even more reason than ever to start to build up something that can allow you to see the kind of numbers that require you to get to stream wise. It is utterly ridiculous what they're doing. It's nasty work what they're doing. Don't come in here and feed me this shit about, oh, it's just business, fam. You don't understand business. Kiss my ass. I know unfair business. I don't do business with people who are unfair. DIYers, we are the future. Shit's finna change. DIYers. DIYers, if you enjoyed this content, make sure that you hit the like button and maybe even consider subscribing. Come on, man. Stop, stop being greedy. Peace.